Hi everyone, welcome to Science Fun for Everyone. I'm Scientist Joe, here with January's Experiment of the Month. Oh, it's snowy outside, it's January, it's winter. And that always makes me think of viscosity. Hmm, viscosity. And snow globes. Professional snow globe makers actually have secret recipes for both the water that's in a snow globe and the snow that comes down. Because if you just put some fake snow into water, it falls a little too quickly. They want snow to fall slow in a snow globe, so they have to increase its viscosity. Here I have two liquids. Uh, this one is water, and this one is a chemical called glycerin. They're both clear liquids, and I put glitter into both of them. Glitter is going to be the snow in our snow globe. If I stir the cup with water in it, you can see the glitter swirls around, and then it settles to the bottom pretty quickly. Now, if you take a look at the glycerin in this cup right here, if I start to swirl the glitter around, the liquid is so thick, it has such a high viscosity, that that glitter will take a really, really long time to fall to the bottom. If we use this in a snow globe, our snow would never fall. If we use this, it would fall too fast. So I'm going to compromise. In my snow globe, I'm going to have a mixture of glycerin and water. That way, the liquid inside has the perfect viscosity to get my snow falling at the right speed. This is a jar that used to have salsa in it. I ate all the salsa, and then I filled this halfway up with glycerin and halfway up with water. Then, I put some glitter in there. Enough glitter so that when I stir this with a spoon, I get that nice, snowy effect. With the lid of this salsa, I turned it into sort of a pine forest. I just took the lid of a yogurt container and cut out some pine trees, then glued them to the underside of the lid. This lid is going to screw on like normal in there, so our trees will be hanging upside down in the water. You turn the snow globe upside down, and you get those nice snowy effects. One thing we don't want in our snow globe is extra air bubbles. So I'm going to fill this jar up all the way to the top so that there's a tiny bit of water even poking up over the top of the jar. Then, when I take my lid, you may get a little water spilling out over the sides, but there should be no bubbles at all. And your snow globe is just about finished. Uh, down here at the bottom, around the opening, it might be a good idea to put a little glue or tape just right around there. It's probably not a good idea for someone to open this. Probably is a good idea to head on over to sciencefun.org. Check out science jokes, facts, and more experiments you can do at home. There's also information there about our science field trips, uh, summer camps, birthday parties, and day camps. Hope to see you there. Bye.